imagine that a cure for suffering has been found. And think for a minute what a big deal that is. The Buddha asked all these questions like, how do you find happiness in this old age, sickness, death, uncertainty, suffering? Tibet is like for a thousand years. It just staggers the mind to imagine the combined willpower and brain power that was directed towards developing spiritual technology for freeing the human mind. Everything has uh, two sides. Unfortunate side is we lost the country. Fortunate side is the Dharma went all over the world. We were part of a generation of people who basically said, I want out. I heard about these buses that you could go from England to Nepal, drive. Now, you know, you can get anything quick, whatever you want, you know, you Google, you know. People are like, oh, what's this Buddhism stuff? Because we perceive true existence because of that very powerful mind. Not as a religion, but simply the science of mind. Our brains are constantly being shaped. It is quite remarkable how close a parallel there is between our modern understanding of neuroplasticity and the Buddhist notions of transformation. I think the future of Buddhism is really in the West. Thomas does. Be present. Be now. Everything has happened so quick. We are forced to be enlightened, huh? otherwise it would drive us crazy.